Okay, so now we're going to do the uh, broadcast band or the regular AM radio band. Oh, I'll take that back. No, we're not. We're going to do one more shortwave band. Why, why do they have it like this? They have they have it as B instead of giving the B oscillator, A oscillator. I'm not sure what's going on here. But I think I should be leaving it at the same band where it is now. And tuning in 6100 uh, kilohertz at 149 degrees. Hundred and forty nine degrees. So there's a hundred and forty nine there. Now I should dial in six point one mega cycles. Me. 6.1. There we come. That's my crazy furnace going again. Again, one time it's 11 o'clock. We bump the temperature up one degree at 11 o'clock in the morning in our house. So that's what's triggered that. Hey, where's the signal? Turn it up. Okay, I'm blasting. Something not right here. What's going on? What's going on here? 149 degrees. Range selector set to B. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Well, I guess I gotta move the range selector one more. There should be two more positions. Let's find out if that's really true. A and B. So next position should be B and then an A. And then there's another one. Okay, so yeah, so that must be push button A B. And this is where we are right now. Oh son of a gun. I lost track of everything. <laughs> Let's take it up to nine. Okay, so there we are. Making sure I'm on the band I think I'm on, so I don't do something stupid here. Of course, I never, ever do stupid things, but uh, just in case. Um, so we're down to 6.1. degrees. Oh, switch the band. Band down one. Okay, thinking that's B. This doesn't make sense to me. Looking for a 6.1 on here. Supposed to be 149 degrees, just off 150. Just double check that. Yeah, that's basically where it is. It might be 148, but that doesn't really matter.
Okay. Hmm. I guess we'll just adjust this guy all the way down there. C37. Piercing sound in our ears, C37. So I'm looking on the circuit diagram to find C37. There it is. It's in the side. It's the center one in the side. B oscillator. 6180. 6100. I'll assume that that's 6100. I'm going to get in the side of this radio now. It's kind of I'm in an awkward position. I'm going to move it a little bit. Hey, it works better. Because I'm turning the volume control as I do that. spooky. You can see the reflections of my hands. <laughs> okay. This guy back here. Now, I'll show you where I'm, where I'm tuning here just so you can see what I'm doing. Over here at the side of the radio, those three holes you see, the center hole is the one I'm going to be turn, turning. There's a capacitor in there. for my screwdriver here. Oh yeah, I mean, how to set the uh, frequency properly. We're going to try to get to 6100 from where we are now. Oh boy, that's a long journey. There we are. Okay, so I'm engaged with the screw. I'm ready. So keep your eye up here make this go down to 6100. There we go. So that was an oscillator for B. And now we go to A. One more band switch here. Over to A. That's A. Now we set it to 155 degrees. Fourteen hundred kilocycles. Fourteen hundred kilocycles here. See, the noise is enough to set the uh, ABC voltage high, close the eye. So, there's, again, this is just continually more and more evidence 
that in my shop and probably in most people's homes, AM radios are overcome with noise from computer stuff, particularly if you have computer stuff all around your radio within one foot, <laughs> like I do here. So that's not quite, that's 14, it's almost 1500 instead of 1400, so we'll adjust this by turning C38. C38 is one of those three holes on the side. This one's at the back. There we are. I'm engaged. Yeah, that's the control. And now we will play the hopscotch game down to 1400. First I move the signal generator. Okay, that's in the right direction. Now I move the capacitor. I think it's a capacitor. There it is. Down a little further. I gotta give it more signal here. It's not enough signal. Where'd you go? There it is. 1430. Okay, tune that in. ridiculously precise anyway what I'm doing here unnecessarily precise okay and now we do the same band just the other end of it we adjust a coil L17 at 600 kilohertz so you have to go down to 600 kilohertz that puts us on 300 to 950 300 to 950, what did I say? We were going up to, down to around 600. It's up to 600 or so. Now we are tuning the radio to 33 degrees. 33 degrees. See where we are. We're supposed to be at 600. Oh, look at that. Okay, nothing to do here. On to the next one. We go oh, back up to 1400 and 155. Fifty-five degrees, fourteen hundred kilocycles, C sixteen. So we gotta go up to fourteen hundred. Look at that. That's right on. I mean, I can't fix that. That's just fine. And the last one is adjusting the loop. We 
dial 1500 kilocycles. Kilocycle is the old way of saying it. 163 degrees. Oh, this is starting to seem like I'm setting up my tooth tester the way this is going. 163 degrees. Now, this says loop and adjust C2. And so, I don't think we should have the antenna connected to the back of the radio now, or the uh, signal generator. 163 loop. There is a loop antenna connection. Let's try that first. That's right there. Don't hear anything. Let's see what we can find here. There it is there. Now. Yeah. That's me connecting and disconnecting the antenna from the loop terminal. That's right on the loop antenna. Just a little capacitor. There we go. Let's do a thing. Okay. Let's try another technique here. So I'm now set up a simple, so my, my signal generator is no longer connected to the radio. It's simply got some wires at the end of the signal generator lead, so it's now transmitting just into the ether here in my shop. And I have it laying right on top. In fact, I can show you exactly what I'm doing here, why I talk about it when I can show you. So, so, so here's the output of my signal generator signal and ground. As you can see the same clip leads are just clipped together. So it's just a loop of wire. And here's the antenna. And I just have it sitting on it. And there's the capacitor that needs to be adjusted. Right there. So now we'll watch. See what happens. good, making a big difference here as I, I'm turning it quite a bit to get that kind of peak. That's as tight as I can get it. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Boy, this is one to make in the radio, I think. So, there we go. That's peaked up. The problem is the antenna is in it's a loop antenna. It's unusual circumstances here in my shop. There's big hunks of metal here and there, but I think that's about the best we can do. And with that, we've hit the end of the road here on tuning up this radio. Oh no, we haven't. We haven't done the push buttons at all, but that'll be another topic in itself. And I think I might be inclined to do that again once the radio is completely reassembled and put back in the uh, box. Uh, it might be a little wiser to do those adjustments then. So for now... Hey, why don't we tune this thing around and see what we can pick up? That's a good idea.